Hi there YouTube, how's the host next today? Um, uh, I found something new for you. Uh, so I thought for XBMC you lovers, uh, I thought you might be interested. So without further ado, I'm gonna go jump right to it now. So first of all, I will show you how it is. Uh, so this is a, a setup for uh, a VPN within XBMC. Now uh, XBMC is, uh, you know, you go into programs and there's a, a VPN here called Dazzle VPN. Dazzle VPN is actually very nice. All you do is just go in there. Once you set it up and you uh, enter your details, you can choose the the, the location or where you want to um, use your VPN, uh, use XPMC to VPN too. That way your VPN actually is uh, completely, um, your sorry, your your XPMC is completely hidden from the world to where it's going. Even your ISP won't be able to know if you're using um, a primeware that AG or primeware that blah blah, uh, for example. So all these other add-ons that you you see that normally you have to like. Uh, Project Free TV, you have to use a special URL. On Movie 25, you can't use at all um, because it's, uh, it's, I don't know how, how to bypass the URL from within it. Uh, one channel, for example, uh, you have to type in all the time uh, the primary unblocked URL. Um, uh, uh, Ice film once it comes back online, you still have to use uh, you know the URL unblocked as well, or something else. Uh, there are several URLs for depending on the country that you are that you can need not a VPN. Now the Dazzle VPN, what it does is it, it's it says it itself actually. If I go in here and you can see this description here on the right. Oops, let's just see. Okay, okay. Ah, oh, I can't see. <laughs> right. The world first VPN service designed for XBMC. Visit DarthoVPN.com to sign up for limited free service. And what it says, limited free service, is actually completely free. You can use a free account right now. I uh, guess that, you know, if you guys you want to use it now, it's, you know, it's very good. The free service gives you 800 kilobyte download. Um, it's not that fast, but it does work. Uh, so if you get uh, uh, a paid unlimited plan, you get to connect to several different connections. Uh, Data VPN additional software is required for some OS. For more information, please visit the Data VPN. All right, so I can go through how to set it up for you for you in a minute, but uh, so I'm just going to show you the website. Uh, let's see where is it. So I've been I've been going through lots of Data VPN today. Try to get the right way to do it. Actually, I've seen a lot of YouTubers as well made a lot of different videos about it. But I think the best thing to do about this is when you go into here to the Dazzle VPN, you can see here if I go into pricing, see the free version is 100% free. Uh, they won't ask you for a limited time or whatever, it's 0% months. There's no issue. You get your own, you just sign up for it. And I guess everybody should sign up for it. You know, it's free. Might as well just do it. Um, it will, it will need, it will mean that you're limited to 800 kilobytes a second. Uh, the monthly and the yearly one is a very good uh, offer. You got 72 dollars a year for. Uh, ad, it gives you desktop client and limited bandwidth and all that. But the free version works for XPMC as well. So uh, you, you might want to try the free version before you go to try something else. And that's what I've done. Actually, I went, I went and bought a yearly one for myself. Uh, but uh, I don't recommend anybody doing that until they get 100% working on the free. So, okay, so support, click on downloads, and there is instructions in here for every single one of your devices. Uh, let see how do I, okay, I'll increase the website speed, uh, page. So you can see here on top, XPMC and Kodi download. So they've actually already like set up a way to make sure this is compatible with Kodi as well. So you can click on XFC Kodi uh, VPN add-on. Now this will download the repository file. So all you have to do is just click on that. It will download it here. Now whether you're using Android or you're either using uh, something else, this will download it for you. Now unfortunately, look if you look at this 
our add-on does not currently support iOS or OS X at this time. So it will support Windows, Android, Linux, Open Linux, Raspberry, Ras uh, Ras BMC, whatever. You know what I mean, Raspberry Pi. Uh, so once you download the ras uh, the repository, uh, let me show you this. So this is a zip file. Okay. Make sure your Mac doesn't uh, um, extract this. Uh, or, you know, iOS. I'm not going to believe it. So, your Windows, Android, and Linux, and open it like a Raspberry, uh, Raspberry Pi will, will work. I've tried it on both, on Windows and Android, and it seems to work fine. Uh, you can set it up and install it. Now, my Windows has instructions for them. Now, follow these instructions literally follow them that's how you're gonna have to get this working right uh, for Windows Android Linux just follow these instructions there's no point in me actually going through uh, like a heap of loads of setup of how you could do it without you guys go following this as well so for example if I click on the Windows one make sure it says here download the XPMC uh, Dath the Dathom VPN XPMC add-on download this which is that's the same one here or you can just click it here again Go download it again, see, and download the VPN desktop client for it. Okay, so in Windows, this never works for me. Okay, this version here, that VPN desktop client, never works for me. But it says here, or open VPN. So I clicked on this, and I got to this page. Let me just go back here because I've already got this loaded. And when I came in here, I just selected Open VPN Installer, 32-bit, 64-bit. I've actually installed the 64-bit uh, for my computer, but uh, you can choose the one that is compatible for your computer. Right. Once you set it up, you follow these instructions in here. It's very simple. In Windows, right-click on Run, XPMC, Run Administrator. Oh, that's a good point. So, um, what it, what you'd have to do is on XPMC on Windows, you have to right click in here and run as administrator. Okay, now this is on Windows. Uh, I'm actually running my XPMC as administrator all the time now. What I did is I right clicked on the XPMC, click properties, gone, went to compatibility, and told it to run the program as administrator. So every time it runs, it runs as administrator. Okay, so you go here. You go now to get this icon here. To do that, first of all, you go into System Settings. Let's install the repository first of all. Install zip from zip file. Uh, okay, so where did I download it? I downloaded it to my download area. Users. Email, download. It was called repository, I believe. There you go, Repo repository Dathon XPMC plugin. So here you go. It says the Dathon error repository has been added. So all I have to do now click get add ons. Where is Dathon? There's Dath. Dathol. Why do I call it Dathol? Okay, it's Dathol, not Dathon. I'm not even sure why it's called Dathol. It's probably Death Star. Anyway. So here, and click on uh, Program Add-on Update, and click on uh, the Dath of, uh, Dath of VPN and install it. Once it's installed, you go head back into the Program section, and you set it up. You can see my, my, my password is hidden. So, so you type in your VPN, you type in your password, make sure you change your operating system to whatever it is, and you leave, leave the rest of the settings alone. Okay, so once you type in that, type in that, that should be fine. That will that will get you in, in phase one. Phase two VPN, you're gonna need the open VPN client, which is what I explained in here, you have to download this. Just download it, there's no need anything else. I mean, I didn't do anything else after I downloaded it. It should be here somewhere. I don't know where it is now. <laughs> it's here. 
It, uh, well, I went inside downloaded it. It's, uh, it was it was working fine. Now don't go to directly to the openvpn.net website. Just go to the URL here that I'm going to put in the description, or you can go into that, uh, like I said here, to download it. Now watch this in the Android version. Android version, for example, you also download the repository. Then you need to download the VPN Remote Control APK file. And I can either download this from the Google Play Store or direct download. I would recommend you download it from the Google Play Store in case it updates. Open VPN for Android, download from the Google Play Store. So you can download this one and download this. Now this is an optional download for Android. Don't need that. I'm, I don't need that. But you can download it just in case. Uh, the Linux version, you got similar setup. You got just download the VPN. The, the repository, so and it works fine. The point is, is it got every single you know uh, one of its uh, setup, and they all are for XPMC. Now, if you wanted, of course, the your own your own add-on for your Windows or your uh, Android or Linux or uh, iOS for you know a, a client setup, that's something different. I mean, here is Max, iOS phone, and everything, but that's f these setups. Are for uh, uh, paid version setup. So if you want the free version to work, just use this. Okay. Right. There is another way you could do it. You can actually install lots of different uh, uh, resources and a lot, lot of different things. I, I found that to be um, not requirement. But uh, if it's, tell me, guys, if you think this is a uh, good enough for a uh, VPN, because I know for a fact that I've tried it now. I've logged in, so if I were to show you the death of VPN, United States, for example, I'm in the UK. I'm choosing the United States VPN. Uh, I'm gonna choose. Yeah, I'll choose Miami. I always wanted to go to Miami, so I've clicked on Miami. can see here well this is actually this is a paid version so the free version will have like a limited like a three or four connections here you go VPN successfully enabled your IP address is this winter park by United States there you go. okay so now the VPN is connected I can go into yeah movie 25 for example because I know for a fact that there is a URL that we can add into the uh, custom settings. There's nothing we can do. There's no custom URL we can do here. So, in that case, since Movie 25 has been blocked in the, in the UK, I'm going to try it out. See if, it's, uh, if it loads up information at least. I know there's still more problems with Move25, but at least if it uh, loads up the information, it means that it's working for me. Let's hope I chose a fast VPN. Maybe I should choose a different add-on. <laughs> Come on. I clicked on new releases. All right, there you go. So it's coming up with uh, you know lots of different information. That means it is working. It's just downloading things. So let's go back. I don't know. It looks like more twenty five is very slow. And for uh, for the example of primeware for example like when not, uh, this usually this one is ticked but I don't tick it anymore because I've got VPN Yahoo. so my ISP doesn't know I'm actually you know using primeware the AG the actual official link so I'm gonna click on uh, yeah let's click featured was featured in there you go it's working
Ah, I'm just clicking things randomly. I don't even know what that is. I've not seen it. Maybe you guys have seen it. I actually clicked on the Simpson. <laughs> right, season 11. Like I said, I'm clicking here randomly. Trying to see if this link uh, is holding steady. Now I've tried this on the free version. It does, it is a little bit slow on the free version, but it does work. So I'm gonna try this on the paid version in front of you guys. Like I said, I'm not recommending you pay for anything until you guys make sure this is working 100% uh, that you can browse at least previously on the amazing race <laughs> teams race from okay so oh god that, that's, that's too loud that I've got a head, headphone on and my ears just popped out so yeah okay so uh, yeah it works it's fast uh, it's on the free version uh, sorry on the paid version on the free version it will buffer a little bit because it's 100 kilobytes a second so you'll see what I mean when, I, when you when you get the free version and but at least you got something that's working and you can you know download or something from it at least and it's not limited where you can download like you know 2 gigabyte or whatever no it's unlimited uh, it's just uh, uh, it's just got limited to, to the speed of 100 kilobytes a second once you finish with the data VPN you click on here Go to the top, disable VPN. Now this VPN is only for XPMC, so it's not taking over your computer or something like that. So it's very nice. It's uh, completely set up within XPMC, so I think it's a good idea for most of you guys who you know who uh, look, who's looking for a VPN inside uh, XPMC. Now, if you want a different setup, uh, and this is not helping you, just tell me, and I'll I'll try to. Uh, help you out and if you want a different guide for this I'm not sure if you guys want to uh, and this is not helping then please you know advise and I'll try to do a different guide for you guys okay thank you very much for that I'll uh, I'll see you later